What happens when a city is pummeled by a rainfall that's only supposed to happen once every 290 years? What happens is that the sheer volume of water overwhelms it. In a span of five hours, 14 billion liters of water came down. Now that's enough to fill the Rogers Center nine times or sustain the flow of water over Niagara Falls for 40 minutes. No sewer system in the world is designed to accommodate the deluge Peterborough experienced. And with nowhere else for the water to go, it found its way into almost 2,000 basements. Going into any natural disaster, particularly a flood, is a very gut-wrenching time. You see the, the aftermath of what these, this, this event can do, how it has affected people's lives, and how it's going to affect their lives perhaps some time to come. When you see everyone's furnishings on the lawn, when you see everyone's prized possessions, it could be, you say, your iPod, your computer, your diary, everything. Because these natural disasters are, 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 take nothing into consideration, say we should leave this alone or that alone, it will not, it will take everything with it. When I see people's most prized possessions there and how they're affected by it, it can't help you. And I've been in a few catastrophes, but everyone I've gone to, that first moment I get there, I'm almost overwhelmed by the, by the tragedy that could have been. Whether it be Quebec, the Caribbean, Peterborough, or where, anywhere else I've been, is, is, is to be hope to people who are put out. And what all natural disasters, we cannot prevent them, we cannot stop them, we know they're going to happen, but what we can do is say that even in the midst of the worst one, uh, there's still hope there, and the insurance industry provides that hope.